Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to configure static IP address of SQL Server instance or instances in cluster. In this demo, we'll be learning how to configure static IP address of SQL Server instance during cluster installation. And then we'll be taking an overview of uh, installed SQL Server instance and take a look in failover cluster and see how we can view the static IP address of SQL Server instance. So let me go ahead and uh, this is one of my node. I'm going to go ahead and show you just uh, during the installation that how you configure static IP address. I'm not going to complete the installation. So let's go ahead and fire up the media. You do need a SQL Server media. I'm opening SQL Server Media and run Setup as Administrator. In this demo, I'll be going to just install or show you the installation until we reach to a point where we need to provide the static IP and then I'll go ahead and cancel the installation because I already installed two server instance and I'm not really ready to install another SQL Server instance. However, the scope of this video is to show you that where you configure SQL Server instance uh, a static IP address. So you click on installation, you click on uh, new SQL Server failover cluster If you're adding a node after the new failover uh, cluster installation is completed, uh, you will click on right here, add node to SQL Server failover cluster, and it will basically retrieve the IP address that you have given, the static IP address that you have given in SQL Server failover cluster installation. So no need to worry about uh, how to configure SQL Server static IP address when you adding a node to an existing failover cluster installation. So let's go ahead and click OK. Click Next. It's installing setup files at this moment. This is the setup support rule files. Make sure that uh, if you're doing on production, you don't see any warnings. Right here is network uh, binding order. Uh, this is just a wa warning. I am sure that uh, I made sure that uh, the network binding is right. Now my private network is up on the top and my external network is at the bottom. So this is what I did and I know that it is uh, correct. Feature installation, click next. And select the features that you wanted to install since in this demo I'm not going to basically install SQL Server uh, in failover cluster I'm just going to show you where you configure uh, your static IP address for this instance so I'm going to go ahead and just select SQL Server engine services I'm gonna select next Click next again. I'm gonna just give um, demo the SQL Server network name for now because I'm not really uh, going to install it as, as I said before. Let's go ahead and click next. Click next. This is the resources right here it'll show when you do the real-time uh, installation of SQL Server in failover. Click Next. I'm not worried about uh, this as I said that uh, this is I'm not prepared to install another instance of SQL Server so just a demo to show you where static IP address is configured and how you configure it. Click Next. This is where you configure your static IP address of your SQL Server instance. You need to click on IPv4. And up here where it says address, you need to provide the address. In my case, it would be 192.168.1 uh, and uh, 75. 
so just an example that this is the IP address this is this would be the static IP address of my SQL server instance don't let it confuse you with the static IP address of your node it is not the node it, it is SQL server cluster instance any instance that you install in SQL Server failover cluster each instance needs to have its static IP and this is how you configure your static IP during the installation of SQL Server let's go ahead and cancel that uh, as I said that I'm not going to basically complete this installation this is not installation ready I was just gonna show you that where you configure and how you configure your static IP address for SQL Server instance let's go ahead and cancel this our next point is that we're going to go in failover manager and see the SQL Server static IP address of existing installation. Once the installation is complete, how you can tell that uh, what is SQL Server static IP from uh, failover cluster manager. Right here is failover cluster manager. If you don't know how to uh, fire up failover cluster manager and you're using Windows Server 2012 R2, you can click right here and search for failover right here is failover cluster you can click on that and it'll open a failover cluster as you can see that um, when you install sql server instance it'll show up in roles right here i have two sql server instances uh, keep in mind that uh, you need to select that instance where you wanted to look at the static ip in my case let's take a look on static ip address of sql prod so i'm going to go ahead and click that and right here the status is running priority medium right here is the static IP address at 192.168.164 let's look at the resources right here is TBS SQL cluster this is the static IP address of TBS SQL server let's look look at SQL UAT it is 65 and if you go back to summary it'll show you right here so basically this is quick overview a little video I wanted to put together to show you that how you configure static IP address of SQL Server instance during the installation and also how to view the existing IP address of SQL Server instance using failover cluster manager I hope this video